Those of you using the Real World Certifier will undoubtedly hear about the TBR-1000. Now, the TBR-1000 is the uh, younger brother of the Real World Certifier. And as simple as the Real World Certifier is to use, the popularity of the TBR-1000 is due to its sheer simplicity. It uh, primarily focuses on network applications, so it's not nearly as capable in the cable area as the real world certifier. But what it does, it does very well. Let me give you an example. I just turned it on. Now I have one of the jumper cables plugged into the NIC card in the back of this notebook. Let me go up to the network section of the TBR-1000. Let's see what kind of NIC, NIC card I have. Well, the TBR-1000 tells me that my notebook is sending out link pulses and it's configured as a PC. It also tells me it's capable of 10 and 100 megabit communication. And the green LEDs indicate full duplex. So I have a 10-100 full duplex NIC card in the notebook. Well, let's go over here. We have a D-Link switch. Let's see what kind of switch this is. And bear in mind, these switches could be remotely located and you're plugging into a wall socket, you'd get the same results. The TBR-1000 is telling you that this D-Link is capable of creating its own auto crossover cable. It can either be a straight through cable or a crossover cable. And it tells you that by saying it's capable of configuring itself as a hub or a PC. The D-Link switch can communicate at 10 and 100 and it's capable of full duplex. That's what the green LEDs are all about. Okay, let's see what this Linksys switch is capable of doing. Ah, the Linksys switch, it's a gigabit switch. It's capable of 10, 100, and 1000 full duplex. And because you see it configured both as a hub and PC, it also has the crossover feature. Now watch this. I'm going to connect this gigabit Linksys switch into my notebook, which we know is only capable of 100 megabit. I'm going to go use the center socket for a straight through connection. If I use the right socket, I'd be creating a crossover connection. And now the TBR-1000 tells you what the final negotiated speed is in this link. It says that one of the devices is configured as a hub, the other is a PC, which is what you would expect, and they negotiated to a 100 megabit full duplex. This is extremely powerful because you can test this device and you can test that device, but unless you can go inline, you really don't know what the devices ended up negotiating for speed and duplex. And the TBR-1000 makes it very clear. And by the way, the real world certifier is capable of doing these same exact tests, except it uses its LCD display to give you the information instead of these simple LEDs. The last feature I'd like to show you on the real world certifier is its cable test ability. Let's use the cable test socket to test the jumper cable itself. You get a probe with the TBR-1000. You can use it like any other probe to locate the cable. Once you locate the cable, simply plug it in. So if you're in a remote wiring closet, you can locate it and then immediately plug it in. The main unit will continue to strobe the pairs 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 5, and 7, 8 continuously. And on the remote uh, probe here, what you can see is that it likewise is 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 5, 7, and 8. The label tells you that if it's going left to right, it's a straight through cable. If it was going right to left, it is a crossover cable. If the LEDs are all green, the cable is okay. If the reds go lead, you have a fault in the cable. Now the cable testing ability of the TBR-1000 is not nearly as sophisticated as a real world certifier. But if you have some straightforward applications that look like can be handled by the TBR-1000, please keep it in mind. Thank you.